In a remote African jungle, a small monkey is captured. Bound for a pet store in America, the animal carries a deadly virus. Your town is being quarantined. We got 19 dead. We got 100 more infected. It's spreading like a brush fire. What are you talking about? If one of them's got it, then 10 of them have got it now. And if one of them gets out of Cedar Creek, we have a very interesting problem. If that bug gets out of there, 260 million Americans will be dead or dying. I'm leaving with the team in an hour. From the heart of a small California town. Damn it, Sam, I want to stay with these people the same as you. To the inner circle of power in Washington. The most optimistic projection for the spread of the virus is this. 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours. The greatest medical crisis of all time. We can't stop it. Begins. Try to remain calm. Many people are dying and are going to continue to die unless we find this monkey. There will be panic the likes of which we have never seen. There you are. Attention, Portland residents. The Motama virus in the movie was origin from the Motama River, Zaire, and the first organism that get infected was a monkey. The virus basically infects through direct contact, such as blood and saliva. The virus needs around 5 hours to infect all cells and the person who gets infected will develop the symptoms such as fever and feeling weakness in one day. The organ of an infected person will get liquefied and fail to operate. These two pictures show the symptoms of the infected patient. The movie also shows that Motama virus replicate at a very fast speed. All the cells were killed after 8 hours. After killing all cells, the viral cells spread and find new cells to infect again. The movie also shows that Motama virus mutated and lead to a change in the glycoprotein code that results in a different infectivity. After mutated, the virus was able to spread through air particles. The discussion will consist of host, structure, method of infection, symptoms and treatment. This is the monkey which is the host for the Motaba virus. The structure and replication of Motaba virus. of an hour, a single virus has invaded, multiplied, and killed the cell. In just over two hours, its offspring have invaded nearby cells here and here, continually multiplying. Jesus Christ, five hours? It infects the cell, replicates, and kills this fast? These numbers can't be right. Ebola takes days to do this damage. Sir, as the numbers are correct, I wish to God they weren't. One goes in, millions come out. Every cell is dead. Now we see them individually, searching for the next victim, until so there's nothing left to kill. Mark this day, Saul. We could spend our whole careers waiting to see a new virus. Sirs, Mr. Motaba, up close and personal. As we can see, the Ebola virus structure resembles the Motaba virus very similarly. This virus can be spread by few methods, which is saliva, blood, and becomes airborne after mutation.
it's airborne. Ebola virus does spread through direct contact like blood or secretions. However, it's impossible for Ebola virus to be mutated and spread through airborne. The symptoms of Motaba virus are such as weakness, headache and fever, pale face, bleeding in eyes and nose, and also liquefaction of internal organs. The symptoms produced by Ebola virus is very similar to Motaba virus, as we can see in this list here. There are two types of treatment used for the Motaba virus in the movie. The first one is before mutation, which is the E1101 antibody. The second antibody is a new antibody obtained from an original monkey carrier. Unlike the Motaba virus, Ebola virus doesn't have a vaccine. The patients who had Ebola was treated just by controlling the symptoms.